Hello again, YouTube. It has been far too long. I'm Bobby with Madness Labs, and um, this is the new lab. I've um, got all set up upstairs, and uh, now we have what's called sunlight, which uh, a lot of developers don't get the privilege of seeing during their days. So um, I did a video a while back about how to use VS Code with GitHub. Um, it's been well received, um, and there was a lot of questions about how to actually go about having code on my computer and then syncing that code to GitHub rather than starting on GitHub, creating the repository, pulling it down, and then doing all that jazz. Note that like you could use the last video and you could just clone down an empty folder and copy all of your stuff into it, um, but we can take another route. Um, we have to do a little bit of, of manual intervention with some Git commands, um, but I think it'll be a good example of kind of how to use Git with uh, VS Code even better. So first off, um, I'm going to create a folder on my computer. So I've got a nice little folder under uh, C called apps. Um, and I'm going to add a new folder here. So, and I'll call this sync to GitHub. And I'm going to open this with VS Code. And as, as uh, some of you may notice, VS Code has recently updated their um, their little icon, which is a little bit more unique looking from um, Visual Studio. Pretty neat stuff. And they also released a bunch of new features um, that maybe I'll go over here in another video. Okay, so now we've got our project open. <clears throat> so let's just say I had an index file in here or something. So I'll just create an index.html. Use my awesome autocompletes oh no there we go okay so let's just say I have this github repository so I've got the files on my computer I don't um, currently have git um, but what I can do is I can basically initialize the github repository locally and then create a repository on github and then link the remote um, between my local repository and the one that's on GitHub. So let's go ahead and do that. So like I said, first jump over to GitHub. Um, let's create a new repository. And I will create it under Madness Labs. Sync to GitHub. Um, and then some of you, like some of like before on the last video, you could create the uh, the re repository with a readme just to have something there to pull down whenever you uh, clone it to your computer. Um, make sure that in this um, in this case, do not click that because um, we want to sync all of the changes um, from our actual local repo to GitHub. So let's go ahead and leave that unchecked and then create the repository. And now GitHub is actually going to give you the answer right here. So this is really kind of how um, we would go about doing it. We have right here the push existing repository from the command line. So we want to use these commands here in order to add the GitHub remote uh, and then push all of our changes from our local computer to GitHub. So now we can jump back into VS Code. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and open up the command prompt by doing uh, control and then the uh, tilde button is the one right below your escape key. Um, and it might be a little bit different on Mac. I believe it's the same uh, control and then the tilde. Um, you can also go to view and then if you go down to integrated terminal, um, you can click it there as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run git init to initialize our GitHub repository. And so that's going to create um, the GitHub uh, or sorry, not GitHub, Git repository in this folder. Um, and so some of, uh, one of the people that, that had commented um, basically ended up opening their entire root directory for their user. Um, so um, to avoid doing that, just make sure that you're inside of the right folder um, that you wanna sync up. So like wherever your app is, so like if it's under your desktop or under your documents or wherever, uh, make sure that you're inside of that folder. Um, what's great about this terminal in VS Code is automatically when you open the integrated terminal, it's automatically going to be um, it's automatically going to be um, running commands from within inside of the folder. So you can see here it's running the commands on my terminal from c apps slash sync to GitHub. 
Um, so, and now you can see when I click into the uh, Git panel on VS Code, you can see that we actually have the index file and it's waiting to be committed. So now I can actually do my commit just like it would before. So I'm gonna do the standard initial commit and then control enter. And now that's going to make those changes locally. Um, so now what I need to do is run those two commands that I found here on GitHub. So I need to add my remote origin um, for GitHub so that I can actually connect to this online repository. So I'm gonna jump back in here and paste that terminal command in and enter. And then now I can actually go back into my Git panel and you'll see that like the sync button now, instead of showing a sync, um, it shows like a little cloud with an arrow. And this is to say that like we have changes waiting to be published to a new origin that we've made, um, but we haven't pushed to it yet. So like we can click this and it's gonna give us a drop down to select where we wanna go. And if you recall, we just ran get remote add origin and so origin is going to be this GitHub repository. So now I can tell it that by default, I wanna publish the master branch to origin. And once I click that, you'll see that it actually will start syncing. And now it's actually taking the local changes that we made on our computer and it's syncing them up to GitHub. So now if we refresh over here, there we go. We have our uh, GitHub repository stored on our computer and then synced over to GitHub. So hopefully this uh, demystifies it a little bit. Um, again, if you need any more help with this stuff, um, go to uh, try try.github.io, I believe that's what it is. Yeah, so try.github.io. Um, this is a wonderful course made by the people at Code School in collaboration with GitHub. Um, so this will teach you the nitty gritty of like how to get up and running with Git. Um, so knowing uh, how to use Git with VS Code is really awesome because it makes you way more efficient. Um, but knowing the underlying Git commands um, are just as essential. So I'm Bobby with Madness Labs. Please like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you in any way. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.